Mets versus Padres. It is game three, and our best picks are on the way. I'm Austin, joined by Logan, and today we got a couple picks coming your guys' way. As always, guys, if you are watching this video and you aren't subscribed, just do us a real quick favor. Go down and hit the, that subscribe button. We are less than 300 subscribers away from 42,000. You guys in the community have absolutely been killing that subscribe button. Yeah, go hit that like button too. I'm wearing my Mets shirt. We'll talk about who we think wins this game, but first we'll get into our official pick. But first, let's recap yesterday. It was a pretty decent Saturday. Now, our picks do go one and one as the race didn't feel like scoring 15 runs. You can't say it was a bad pick. They just they scored zero runs over the 15 innings. And now uh, Phillies, uh, Cardinals under six and a half does cash. And that was plus money. So technically, you know, we did win plus 0.02 units on the day. Now we did talk about a couple leans after the video, at the end of the video. If you took them, well, you made out big because it was a four and O day for all the leans. We obviously don't count those towards our record, but definitely it's worth noting. Those did pretty well. But without further ado, before we hop into our official pick, we have a couple notes. It's obviously Sunday. So we have a bunch of NFL videos. We have our parlays and player props, which is live on the channel. We have our week five best bets with our favorite spread picks is live on the channel. And if we've been helping you make some money, consider becoming an all-star. Hit that join button on the channel. We have a couple new ones. ZZZ, Dyna45, Nashi, Z Money, and Zach Scruggs. We appreciate you guys for supporting the channel. And unlike our normal MLB videos, I'm actually going to lead this off with our official pick for this game. That's going to be the Mets and Padres. We're taking the under six and a half runs. It's currently plus 100 on BetMGM. And we'll talk about who we think wins this game in a moment. But let's talk about this line because we saw yesterday the books were not afraid to put a seven, seven and a half line if they really thought this game was going over. And you saw that yesterday in that Mariners versus Blue Jays game, an absolute collapse by the Blue Jays, losing that game 10 to 9 after having a seven run lead. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about Padres versus Mets. And like they said, they put the line at seven and a half yesterday for that game. And it clearly easily went over, but they're still putting this one at six and a half and a winner go home game for either team. And look at both pitchers. They're going to have an extremely short leash. They load up the bases, they're getting yanked. They're not going to be leaving a guy in there, just get hit around. And looking at who's on the mound for the Mets, it will be Chris Bassett. 2.9495 ERA, a 1.08 whip at home. So he's been pretty good. And what I do like, you look at playoff baseball, a lot of the runs come via the home run. Only allowed eight home runs across 102 thirds innings pitch. So that's pretty good. He might give up a base runner or two, but he hasn't given up the long ball, which is very important because the weather's pretty cold. The winds are blowing in. So if he can limit those home runs, I think we're pretty good on that side. Now, Musgrove will start for the Padres, a 3.01 ERA and a 1.06 whip on the road. He's been very good. And just like Bassett only allowed eight home runs and 86.2 thirds innings pitched on the road. So two guys that are limiting the home run ball. And you look at Musgrove, sure, you can look at his stats, five and one thirds innings pitched, four and runs versus the Mets in July. Maybe they carry over that, but all four of his earned runs were in the sixth inning when he did come out and get pulled in that game. Will Musgrove even make it to the sixth inning? I don't know if they'll let him come around to where he's seeing a guy for the third time. Normally when you see a pitcher those three straight times, you normally can start to hit him around. That's why you see pitchers kind of start to give up runs towards the end of their starts. But still, look at the bullpen ERA. Once these Musgrove and Bassett come out, you look at the Padres, 3.71 ERA in the bullpen over the last 30 games. Mets, 3.85. Both these two teams have guys in their bullpen that can't give up runs, but I don't think they will today. So I do like the Mets and Padres under 6.5. I think the line's pretty low for a reason. I think it's like that Phillies-Cardinals game where it's pretty low scoring. And so, Logan, that's what I'm going to be riding with for the game, but I'm going to let you kind of take over who you think wins this game, and then I'll give my thoughts on that as well. Yeah, you mentioned yesterday our, our leans went off, you know, the undefeated in the leans. So maybe we can keep the, the undefeated in the leans streak on this one. And I'm going to be taking the Mets money line versus the Padres. And look, I, I know it's pretty square. And I know probably people are going to go r rush to bet this one because they just see the Mets advancing to the next round. But I, I, I just kind of, you know, I'm, I'm going with that. I think the Padres is a cutesy play. You go pick the Padres for plus value. You know, they're a value play. But I, I really do think the Mets can get to Joe Musgrove, as you mentioned, right? The, the Musgrove did get touched up in his last start against the Mets. Five and one-thirds innings pitched four and runs back in July. Bassett, if you look on, on his side, he lost both of his starts to San Diego. One, gave up six earned runs, no sweat bet in that direction. But the other seven, in, seven innings pitched two earned runs. He just didn't have the run support in that one. And I think last night was kind of a turning point for, turning point for this Mets offense. I was like, you just got to hit Blake Snell, right? You just got to be able to. Because Blake Snell, I, I get it. He's a he's a decent pitcher on paper. But I just never believed in his, his ability to really be clutch. Once again, he kind of shows that, right? I think if Bassett can dial back into not allowing home runs, this pick cash is Bassett home runs allowed in three out, out of his last four starts. But prior to that, he had eight straight games without a home run allowed, right? We mentioned, you know, you you kind of touched on this on your underpick, Austin, but the home run ball is so crucial to these, the, these playoff games. 
it can sometimes be the only run scored in the game. See the see the Guardians Rays game last night. I mean, it really the, these these games just come down to who's going to manufacture runs in any sort of, sort of fashion. And sometimes they just it's just pitchers missing their spots. Joe Musgrove, he's been better at not giving up the home run, but he struggles with command at time. Right, four walks allowed in, against the Dodgers uh, two starts ago which can be trouble against this Mets team. Bro, look, I, if the weather conditions aren't favorable favorable for home runs, I think that once again does favor the Mets because the Mets season long have been getting those base hits with runners in scoring position when they need it. I, I know they kind of tailed off at, at, at the end of the season, but they've had, they have really clutch hitters like the Jeff McNeil that they see a runner in scoring position. They're like, all right, whatever it takes to get that guy home. The Mets have been been that type of team all season long, and I think they just come come up again big. You know, in this game, it's probably going to be lower scoring as we we do like the under in this one, but giving the Mets to survive in advance. You know, I'm wearing my Mets shirt, so by law, I kind of want to root for them. But the reason we're keeping this as a lean is because I'm a little sketched out by the Mets and their line today. I think the Padres have a chance to win this game, and I don't think these teams are. Very different on paper. I think the only reason we're seeing the Mets favorite is because, one, we know the public's going to hammer the Mets. So they're like, eh, we might as well juice it, and we can take a little bit more of their money. And But on paper, these two offenses are not all that different. I think they have some home run power. They have guys that can get on base, but they're not very consistent. Some games they'll score, you know, whatever, nine runs that the Mets scored yesterday. Some games they'll come out and score zero runs. That's just what the nature is of these two offenses. So, my opinion, I kind of lean the Padres. I don't necessarily know if they'll win. Obviously, they're plus money on a lot of books. But I think, you know, the, when you take out the pitching, we don't have, you know, DeGrom on the mound. I think these teams become very equivalent. So I don't necessarily think the Mets are worth laying, you know, minus 135 juice. They could come out and, you know, blow them out. If that could happen, I think the Mets are a capable offense. But I don't know. Something sketches me out about the, the Mets money line pick, Logan. Yeah, I mean, that's why we're making it a lean. I, I just think it's it's ridiculously square to just sit up here and say, Mets money line, well, that's, that's a pick for today, right? Well, all season long, we've been trying to avoid the, the picks that just feel so easy and feel so good, and then anybody that doesn't really know baseball can just hammer that, right? But I just the reason why I am going with the Mets is just because I, I think they get the clutch hitting needed in this playoff game, right? Like, just look at look at all these series. The the Mariners got the clutch hitting when they need it. I mean, heck heck of a you know series right there for the Mariners. Love that. See, Blue Jays brought out the brooms in the wrong direction. Um, but no, see, I I really do like the Mets in this one to to get it done. They just all season long statistically, I I you know you, you can you can go against the Mets and and be wrong a lot of the time. So I don't want to do it in this one. I think they're at least worth a lean. Maybe a sprinkle on on some people. I wouldn't put Mets in parlays though. Would not do that. Yeah, don't don't do that at all. But yeah, I mean, I hope the Mets do get it done. I hope that we do go under for our one official pick. We don't obviously like to force a lot of picks because the moment you start forcing picks and we take the Mets money line and the under, next thing you know, you got Padres seven runs to the dome in the first couple innings. You're like, oh, there's a quick 0 2 day. We're down two units. So let us know your favorite pick down below in the comments. Go check out those NFL videos that are popping up on the channel. We appreciate all your guys' love and support. Enjoy this final game three before we move on to the wild card. Maybe tomorrow we'll post a video where we break down our favorite predictions for the wild card games or wait until. Tuesday or to post that. But we appreciate you guys always for tuning in. Austin Logan, we're signing out. See you guys back in tomorrow. Peace.